back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the equipment that you're required to know for the higher course. The first piece of glassware we're looking at is the beaker. They are used to hold liquids and have a non-accurate scale on the side, so should not be used to measure. Boiling tubes and test tubes are used to carry out small scale reactions. Boiling tubes are used to heat up reactions, often in a water bath. Conical flasks are used during titrations and for filtering. They also have a non-accurate scale on the side, so should not be used for measurements. Measuring cylinders are a way of measuring out liquids and they have a scale on the side. A more accurate way of measuring liquids is to use a burette. These are used during titration reactions and have a very accurate scale and a tap at the bottom to allow liquid to flow. A more accurate way of measuring liquids is to use a pipette. Pipettes can only measure one set volume of liquid, which is shown by the graduated mark on the neck. Pipettes are filled using a safety filler, as shown. Standard or volumetric flasks can only measure one volume of liquid and are used to make standard solutions, those with a known concentration. The volume of the flask is shown by the graduated line on the neck. Filter funnels and filter paper are used to separate solids from liquids. Evaporating dishes are used to heat water to heat water and evaporate it from a salt solution often. Delivery tubes are used to deliver gas from a reaction, often bubbled through water. This is a really good way of following a reaction if you bubble it into a measuring cylinder. Thermometers are used to measure the temperature of chemicals and droppers are used to transfer small volumes of liquid. Hot plates are electronic ways of heating up liquids good for flammable liquids, whereas Bunsen's use flames and should not be used for flammable liquids. Electronic balances are used to weigh the mass of solids, either tear the balance or use a weighing boat to weigh by difference. Now let's have a look at what sort of questions you could get asked involving equipment in the exam. Pause the video now and try this question. This question involves a student setting up an experiment which you may be familiar with and may have carried out yourself. The student is trying to determine what sort of alcohols they have present, be it primary, secondary or tertiary. They have the alcohols and they're reacting them with acidified dichromate solution. They're heating them up in a hot water bath and you're asked why a water bath is an appropriate method of heating for the reaction mixture. In this case, a hot water bath is being used because alcohol is flammable. It would not be appropriate to use a flame in this instance as alcohol could be set on fire. Read through this second question and try and come up with an answer. Make sure that it has two separate sentences as this question is for two marks. In this question we are required to give two parts to our answer. We're trying to find the density of standard solutions um, and we are to measure the mass of 10 centimetres cubed of each sucrose solution. Describe a method that the student could have used to accurately measure the mass of 10 centimetres cubed of each sucrose solution. Your answer has to have two parts, one part dealing with the volume and one part dealing with the mass. So to measure out 10 centimetres cubed, the most appropriate way of measuring 10 centimetres accurately would be to use a pipette. You then have two choices for your weighing. You can either place some sort of beaker onto the balance and tear the balance and then put your 10 centimetres cubed in, or you can weigh the, weigh the beaker and know how much it weighs, write that down, and then add your 10 centimetres cubed and then take away the weight of the balance of the beaker. This question is asking for which piece of apparatus should be used to transfer 10 cm3 of stock solution. You need to consider what types of apparatus can be used to measure out different volumes of liquids. 
So you have a different you have choices of apparatus that you could use. You could use a measuring cylinder. You could use a pipette or you could use a burette. In this case, the most appropriate piece of equipment is the pipette. It will give you the most accurate measurement of 10 centimeters cubed. Often these questions will come up in the multiple choice. Have a look at these three and see what your answers would be. So this first question here, the correct method of filling a 20 centimeter cube pipette is to draw the liquid into the pipette and how do you do this? So you can either do it slowly at the end until the top of the meniscus touches the mark. You wish to have the bottom of the meniscus touch the mark, so it can't be A. Doing it slowly at the end until the bottom of the meniscus touches the mark, that could possibly be an answer. To above the mark and then release the liquid from the pipette until the top of the meniscus touches the mark. Again, it's the bottom that we want, so the meniscus is the curve and you want the line to rest uh, where the bottom of the meniscus is. You should draw the liquid above the mark and release the liquid from the pipette until the bottom touches the mark. The second question here, we would like to make a 0.1 molar solution from a 1 molar solution. So which is the most accurate way to do it? You could take a 1 cm cube dropping pipette and a 10 cm measuring cylinder. Measuring cylinders are not very accurate so that wouldn't be a good way to go. We have a 10 cm cube measuring cylinder and a 100 cm cube volumetric flask. Volumetric flasks are accurate, however measuring cylinders are not. 25 cm cube pipette and 250 volumetric flask, both of those are very accurate. And a 50 cm cube burette and 500 cm cube measuring cylinder. Burettes are accurate but measuring cylinders are not. So C would be your best answer there. You need to measure 45 cm cubed of a solution. It would not be possible to do this with, with a beaker as the scale on the side is not accurate enough. You could use a burette. You would not be able to use a pipette as it only measures one particular volume. So you wouldn't know where the 45 was. And you could use a measuring cylinder. So you need to make your choice between a burette and a measuring cylinder as to which is the most accurate. In this case, it is more accurate to use the burette than it would be to use the measuring cylinder. So B would be your answer. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Kim for regular updates on new videos. Bye for now.